You must never eat till you're full. You must always stop 80% maximum of the way through, right? And if you do that, the reward comes back 10 times because you will feel good for the rest of the day until the next time you eat. And the same applies to sex. You need to give up the little dribble inside that you've been programmed to like. But why do you like it? You only like it because your DNA is fucking tricking you, right? At the end of the day, you've got some toxic liquid in you. You don't want toxic liquid inside of you if you're a woman. Why? Sperm is the most terrible toxic liquid. Look what it's created, sperm. Look, once a sperm and now follow these, follow these Jesus nuts and nutters. Jesus Christ. This is what sperm, this is how dangerous sperm is. It can lead to Christian fundamentalism. Have you tasted it? Have I tasted it? <laughs> That's the best offer I've had all day. <laughs> Have you had toxic semen in you? Sir? Have I tasted it? No, of course I haven't tasted it. It's dangerous. It's toxic. No, the thing is, it's 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 toxic. Toxic. Now, look, now look, guys, it's not dangerous to, to ingest, to taste. It's not that type of danger. There are different things that are dangerous to do with. It's dangerous if it goes into a vagina. Terribly ah. dangerous can lead to someone like this. Look. Look what happened what when sperm went to the what vagina. Hell, came out with a Christian no, fundamentalist came out. I would be devastated if that was my child. Sir, Give a good old fucking sir, slap. What, what the fuck are you talking about, you fucking freak? Put that stupid book away. Go home. Shut the fuck up. And go to the bedroom for a week. Don't do anything and think sir, about what about what you're doing. Sir, sir. sir, what's about anal? It's digestive <laughs> What about anal? Yeah, it's, it's the digestive system. Is it, is it also Wait, bad to ejaculate in there? Is it also the bad to ejaculate in there? Vagina. You see, you don't understand what this is saying. You haven't got it. You're too much of a fucking retard You because you want to ejaculate. You don't even understand why ejaculation is, do you? Why did I say ejaculation is for retards? Tell me. Is it hedonism? What? Hedonism. Okay, it's hedonism, but that's not what I'm speaking about. Well, sort of. I want sort you of. to tell me the science of it. Why is it literally for a retard? The people are retarded. Why? It's what does retarded dopamine. mean? Unearthed dopamine. What does retarded mean? People who ejaculate. No! <laughs> <laughs> it's healthy, trust me! No. That's the guy! We That's need to hear the this guy! It's the coming of the Lord no, let's go. in the Old Testament. Show your eyes. Show your eyes. It's healthy! Making love to the only it was, not, you know. it was not healthy when your dad screwed your mum, was it? Hey, don't insult him. Don't insult him? Why shouldn't I insult him? He was an idiot, your dad, because he basically screwed your mum for no good reason and ended up creating you. I mean, Thank you, Miran. Have, like have you been having sex? I like you too. I've got a question. Have a laugh. You know the ancient Greeks were all gay. What? The mm. ancient Greeks. No, wait a minute. I'm in the middle of a discussion. Look, Israel about has heads. pride. I'm in the middle of a discussion. Good. Stop being so we'll have a pride rude. march in I wish Saudi Arabia. They're chilling. Now look, I want you to explain to me. Why did I say ejaculation is for retard? Explain to me. What is a retard and why is ejaculation for a retard? Why is it retarded to ejaculate? Can you tell me? It's toxic. Yeah, it's no! It's poison, sir. No! That's not why it's retarded. Why is it retarded to ejaculate? Does anybody know? I mean, I disagree with it anyway. So I know you disagree with it because you like to have your old jostle off, don't you? Oh, yeah, you couldn't do without it. But you don't know. You don't know until you try to stop doing it. Because it's got control over you. Your penis has got control over you, right? Ejaculation is for retards because if you ejaculate, you end up having an anti-climax, really which is what you are. You are your retarded? father's anti-climax. I can assure you, your father, when he was fucking your mum, was not thinking about it's you. And if he was, there's no way he would have been able to remain hard. What Imagine about wet thinking dream? about what him while you're dream? fucking someone, right? So your father was just thinking about ejaculation. Like an idiot, because he was a retard, and he ended dream? up having you. Right now, he's gonna pay for you, put up with you, and you've ended up like this, smoking fucking nicotine. I mean, if you're gonna take drugs, take good drugs, not shit drugs like that. Right? 
Yeah, all because your father ejaculated because what he's a retard. Make, he was a retard. What drugs right? did you make today, sir? Oh, ejaculation. Yeah, I'll have a nice feeling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it might lead to a child. No, I don't care. I, don't, yeah, I'm not, I want to have a nice feeling. Yeah, right. Oh, the child came along. Oh, fuck. And then you come along. What a fucking retard your dad is. And everybody else's dad. All a bunch of fucking retards for ejaculating. What about your and that's why I say to you ladies, if you have any self-respect, make a decision here and now, madam, that you will no longer entertain having sex with anybody who was not a tantric master, with anybody who could not control their weapon of mass destruction, right? with anybody who would want to ejaculate into you, madam. If anybody would want that, why would they want it? Right? Why? What, sir, to make what about, her pregnant? Sir, sir, what about, why would I want to make, if I liked you a lot, I wouldn't want to make you pregnant. I would only want to make someone I hated pregnant. What about pulling out? Do you know what I mean? Even though I made my wife pregnant three times, about, now I think about it. Why? Would you want to make some poor woman get fat and all this shit and sir, be what, sick sir, and then you know, have to go push the bloody baby out? Sir, what, right? what, what about pulling out? What about pulling out? It doesn't lead to a baby. No, okay, fair enough. If you can pull out and make sure nothing goes in, good luck. But why would you even go in there? It's a terrible place. Why? It's a dungeon. It's beautiful. It's a god beautiful. It's a scam. It's, a, it's the gates of hell. The vagina is the gates of hell. Is there no Every penis? single hell on earth is that started when a man fell into the gates of hell. Is there no, the trap. It's is the there, ultimate is trap. There no vagina. Is there no beauty in making love, sir? No, there is no the beauty in it at all. It's just a chemical reaction of drug taking. That's all it is. is there no it's no different than taking a drug. Is there no it's just a lot more expensive. Is there like, no what's the difference between a wife and a prostitute? One is pay as you go, the other is contracts. It's all the same. And in the end, and in the end, the contract ends up being much more expensive if you work it out and you married for 30 years. I've worked out, it's cost me about 700 pounds for every time I've had sex with my wife, right? What with the children, sharing the house, it's fucking fortune. I could have got a really good like, deal with, you know. And, I, and then when they got to over the age of whatever, Oh, well, 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 young one. Well, well, ejaculation is for free. Because I was a retard. I ejaculated. I was a fucking retard, right? Because you don't understand, man. They don't even understand what I'm saying. They're such retards, right? You can only understand this, by the way. You can only understand this if you start to control your dirty, filthy sausage. <laughs> yeah? You can only understand this when you start, to, when you look at, you go tonight, take your clothes off, and say, right, we're in a new relationship, my friend. I you, agree with you are a weapon of mass destruction, <laughs> and I'm not having you rule my life anymore. I'm the boss here. Let's go. I tell you whether you ejaculate or not. And when you set down the rules, sir, if you commit, I'll do it with you. If you commit that you will not ejaculate, you give your word for two weeks from today, I will do the same. And I'm in a sexual relationship with my wife. I'll I was this morning. I'll shake your hand. Yeah, sir. Deal. And in two weeks' time, we'll come back and you'll see. You'll see that ejaculation is for retards. Because your whole experience will change. Now, are you sexually active at the moment? Yes. Wonderful. I tell you something, your partner will not know what's hit them. They won't know what's hit them. If you have a, a sexual encounter, make sure you leave a lot of time. Because you will not be, you will be focused. I am not going to come, right? And you won't go in there because you don't want to come. And Ramadan, you don't want to come. For weeks. Yeah, but you didn't have sex either, did you? No, I did have sex. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh right, are you not allowed to ejaculate for Ramadan? Edging. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> is edging allowed? Edging. <laughs> see, it's not about allowed, do you not understand? I think it's not about, it's it's about science. It's about science. You, when you ejaculate, you lose all your loving vital energy. All that oxytocin goes boom, right? So why do it? For a few seconds of pleasure, you get a lifetime of pain. Look what happened, look. The guy's father, he wanted 10 seconds of pleasure at the out. Probably four seconds, yeah. Four seconds of pleasure, and then he got this guy, right? He had to look after him and all this shit, change his fucking nappies, right? What?
for four seconds of pleasure. That's the most expensive drug experience on the market. I'd rather my daughter was a heroin addict, right, than have a child. I promise you. So why not have a baby? Because I want to protect my, my future grandchildren from having cancer. I don't want my grandchildren to have... I don't want them to be... I'm Jewish. I don't want my grandchildren to, to be subject to anti-Semite, anti-Semitism. I want to guarantee that my children will not get run over or bombed or starved or kill themselves. I want to guarantee that my grandchildren never even think about committing suicide. So you'd rather right? not have a children. I've already thought about committing suicide three times in my presentation here today. So why the crowd. You? So why haven't you? He doesn't have a rope. That's why, why haven't happened. you then? Why haven't you? He needs a rope. Let's find I a rope. No, no, a rope. Yeah, just hold your breath. <laughs> I've got my hands. Come here. <laughs> exactly. Maybe he'll have a heart attack. We've got to get it filmed properly, though. I think that would be, you know... Very good for my, my rating. Um, yeah. <laughs> Why aren't you filming all this? Why aren't you filming all this? Because I you can reach more people. Who gives a fuck? Is there no, is there no beauty in experiencing life, sir? Is there no all beauty in experiencing life? Yeah. Oh, I like okay. That. okay, so now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to demonstrate a tool that I use in various situations. Yeah? One of the situations is when someone in the crowd is of below average intelligence, which is half of you, right? And they start getting, you know, start asking stupid questions. And the other time is when someone asks a good question, right? So what I do, and I recommend you do, when anybody asks you a good question, is pause for between 30 seconds and a minute, and then you can answer. Stop hiding the border, we can see. <laughs> I think he's ejaculating. <laughs> no, 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 he's edging, he's edging. <laughs> ejaculating is for retard, don't read the sign. This guy ejaculates so much you can't read the fucking sign. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you been listening? <laughs> I got you, man. No hey, you take the screen. You can't see it. <laughs> you uh, too much over. There's the sun. There's the sun. Uh, Up the brightness. I've been ejaculating on it. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 just like. They say oh, it makes sense. I, I left my OnlyFans page on actually. When I started. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, no, I don't use it. I'm, you just have my own service. It's a friend of yours. What's that? It's a friend of yours. It's your cousin. Yeah. So, who is it? you ask the question, yeah? What you, why are you asking me whether you can experience beauty? No, I'm not asking whether I can experience beauty. Oh, okay. When so, you talk about making your oh, whether you can. So, can you experience beauty in life? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, fine. And what's that got to do with anything? I mean, you know, that's the whole point of life. You, you talk about that's the whole point of life, then. Really? To experience a bit of beauty in life, yeah? What about all the fucking cancer? Right? What about all the heart disease? What about Rishi fucking Sunak? Right? All these people. What about people who've got mental health conditions? Right? What about all the speakers around here? But you know, right? Also... Oh, the point of life is. Well, there's no point. What about life? What's the point? There is no fucking point no, of this life. Know, what are you talking about? Of there is. Stop kidding yourself. What is it? Having sex. <laughs> Ejaculating. Ejaculation is for retard. Can I, can I add something? You're a fucking retard. Sorry, I know. <laughs> I'm not going to do. I'm not going to deal with the screaming cries of the babies that come along as a result of you ejaculating. Wow. You, you don't have to. That. Ejaculation is for retards she because has. any man knows <laughs> in the back of his head and the front that what, what follows ejaculation, <laughs> sir? What follows ejaculation, sir? The clean up. Children who take your fucking money, you're bloody right. And the wife, you have to stay with the wife. And you're right? there. I'm stuck with oh, the same woman for 30 years, right? All because she tricked me. She tricked me into giving her children, right? Behind you! 
No, she's not. She's so not even in the talk, country at the moment. So you talk about. I sent her off to Palestine, hoping that you know, so you talk, I can, so, hoping that I can get the inheritance a bit quicker. So you. Oh my you, God. Talk, <laughs> you talk about making life. Yeah, you know, when you create life, it's something bad. You get Rishi Sunak, you get tragedy, you get. Cancer. Yes, you get. But you know. The risk. And what I'm saying can, can is I, can I ejaculation. Point, one second. Ejacula yes. Yes, ejaculation also okay. led to some nice people and some clever people being born. But I don't give a fuck about them. I care about the unacceptably high number of people who've got mental health conditions. But you know, yeah? there's mental health. Friends of mine that want to fucking kill themselves. There's, there's and to be honest with you, having to speak to you over and over again is starting to make suicide you know, more attractive. There's mental, health, there's mental health issues. And then there's intense happiness. There's Rishi Sunak and then there's, there's mental health issues and there's intense there's happiness. Politicians. Well, I'll tell you something, yeah? No amount of intense happiness of nice pretty trees or, of, you know, none of that or nice orgasms can compensate for someone whose child decides to fucking kill themselves, is it? Right? Oh, and your child's killed himself. Why don't you come and look at the lovely trees? Right? Oh, maybe you could have a few orgasms. That should balance the matter out. I don't care about your stupid ideas about the world is for beauty. Rubbish. It's pointless. The whole thing's pointless. And we need to stop having children. Just stop it already. Are you for adoption or not? Then? What? Are you yes. for adoption? Of absolutely. Of course you need to adopt. How dare we have our own children when there are children that need adopting? Children that need fostering, <laughs> children that need. I read. Oh my God! You. Oh, absolutely, I've got nothing against that. That's amazing. It's a beautiful thing. If you foster all your dogs. Yes, there is beauty in it. I'm not saying there's no beauty here. Of course, there's beauty everywhere, but it's skin deep. The beauty is skin deep. If you look out here, unfortunately, at times, if I've got the right magic mushrooms, I can really appreciate the trees over here. But when I've run out of my stock, Have you got some I know that what's going on underneath it is brutal and disgusting, right? It's violent. Underneath there is a huge amount of violence. Everywhere is violent. In our society, there is built-in violence. The so capitalist the system, the capitalist ah, system, the capitalist system, ah, the capitalist system you got your heart is full of violence. Ah. Bill, what's that? You are romantic, you got your heart broken. Oh, what man hasn't? <laughs> I'm a romantic, I got my heart broken. <laughs> it's okay, it's happened all this. It's alright, yeah, we, it's life, man. It's alright, we all did it. How long ago was yours? I have not had <laughs> my heart broken. Uh, you guys have got a heart. I do not have oh, a heart. I've been married heart. for 31 years. Right? It doesn't mean nothing. It doesn't mean shit. Well, I can be married and be heartbroken. It fucking ah. does. It fucking does. We're talking about over a million pounds that cost me. It doesn't mean nothing to me. <laughs> but a million quid she got off me. She scammed off me. You know about the scam of marriage. Most people don't know. Marriage is a scam. I can prove it to you right now. Any married men here? No one will you have are. Yeah, he's been scammed. Watch. I'll, I'll prove to you. You have been scammed good and proper. Sir, are you in love? Let me ask you a question. Do you no, have any? Do you, are you in love with your wife? <laughs> are, are you in love with your wife, sir? Does that not come as a very scout? Yes or no? Obviously, yeah, yeah, he has <laughs> Right. Let's prove to you that you were scammed by your wife. Right. <laughs> That's what you've told do me. you have? I'm hoping you know. Lie if you do. Don't. Do you have any really good male friends that you're you, you really bond with and you can have great chats with and stuff? At least one. If he was to approach you and say, listen, what's your name? Sam. If he was to say, listen, Sam, you know we have a really good time together, we go out together, we can really see eye to eye, we, we really like each other. What I'd like you to do is to change your surname to mine, move in with me, Share everything I have. That's gay. Sign, <laughs> sign, <laughs> one second. Sign a document to say we're going to be best friends for the rest of our lives. And if we do grow apart, which is extremely likely, right, then we'll agree to go to some real cunts called lawyers and then just give them half of our stuff and then we'll take what's left, right? And, and I want to move in with you next week. And let's make a really big party to celebrate. Where would you get them committed, or would you commit to such a marriage? Would you? Would you get? Would you go for that? That's not fair. 
No, no. Would you go for that if one of your male friends would have said that to you? Of course you put it like that. Of course not. No, of course not. You'd be not only that, not only would you not. If one of my friends was to say that to me, I'd say, get the fuck out of here, you nutcase. Get yourself into a psychiatrist's chair and get yourself checked up. What the fuck are you talking about? Why would we do that? We can just be friends now. What the fuck are you talking about? But you did it for her. What's the difference between your male friend and your wife? My wife doesn't have a penis. <laughs> exactly. Nothing. She's got nothing. I mean, hopefully this right? Is nothing. Just a hole. The difference is a hole. Your wife has scammed you out of part of your, of your whole life. She said you can't sleep with anybody else. She's going to make you pay for your children. She's going to make you stay with her for the rest of your life. All for zero. A hole. Somewhere to, somewhere to park your car overnight. That's what your wife did to scam you into getting married. She offered you a hole. Which is just zero. It's Three literally holes. nothing. All right? it's, in fact, I would call it, it's not just a hole, it's actually the entrance into a dungeon. Right? That's what's in there. It's a blissful dungeon. When you get past the trap doors of the vagina, you, sir, and you think, he thinks, he's been brainwashed to think by society that, oh, he's got a great deal, now he can have sex with his wife and it's perfectly fine to have children because. Allah said so, or some bullshit like that, right? And you, before you know it, yeah, you are going to end up ejaculating because you're a retard and you're going to bring more retards into existence yeah, and they're going to have to deal. When you do, I give stuff to a retard, you don't know. First of all, he's married. He doesn't have sex anymore. <laughs> That, I mean, I have to admit that although it is scam marriage, yeah, if it can be used as a guaranteed way of not having sex and therefore not leading to reproduction, I would say go for it. But unfortunately, I suspect that you've already been scammed. Has she trapped you with that vagina? Would you recommend marriage? Mate, What's that? Would you recommend marriage? Absolutely not. You wouldn't? No. You said 31 years, you're happy. What about a situation? What's that? You said 31 years later, you're happy. I'm 31 years later, I say I'm happy. That's because my wife told me that I should say I'm happy. Right? She said, look, you can go, she can go and speak in Speaker's Corner, whatever you like, right? But for fuck's sake, just tell them you're really happily married. <laughs> No, no, seriously, I can't tell you the exact details, right? But what I'm saying is that I wouldn't recommend it because it's a scam. You've been scammed. Tell me what the difference is between your wife and the guy. Why would you be shocked if a man said it to you? It's easier to live with a man. Exactly. So what the fuck? Why, you'd be much better off with a bloke. Much easier and less complicated. He wouldn't moan. He wouldn't have periods. He wouldn't have time of the month. Right? He wouldn't go out shopping to buy... Well, he might these days, but you know what I mean. He wouldn't have makeup, all this bullshit, right? So you actually should have married the bloke. Yeah? But you didn't because you went for a hole. You got sold. A hole. You can get one in Ann Summers for 25 quid. This is 25 like uh, 36 bits. 36 bits. Yeah, you can, get, you can get a deluxe vagina. Where? Where? I'm asking the Take my money! 36 pounds. Yeah? If you have to ejaculate, do it into an Ann Summers vagina instead. And that won't lead to you passing on your terribly toxic DNA to some poor victim. Keep your fucking DNA to yourself. Keep your semen to yourself. And stop ejaculating if you want to be wise. The wise man does not ejaculate. A wise man does not want to ejaculate. I don't want to ejaculate. Because I know that when I ejaculate, I lose all my vital energy. I lose all the love I have for my wife. Which isn't very much to start with after 31 years, to be honest. I can't really afford it. I, I lose all my energy when I ejaculate. And money. And, and, money. and money. A lot Seven of money. Quid. That's right. I, as I said before, for those who weren't here, apologies for those who heard it before. What's the difference between a wife and a prostitute? Contract. One is contract, one is pay as you go. And in the end, the marriage one and costing you more. I've worked it out, I've been married for 31 years, and if you take into the account 
the house, the children, and the, uh, God knows what, and all the crap that she buys, it's cost me about 1.3 million. 1.3 million. <laughs> all because I ejaculated. 1.3 million pounds ejaculated. Nothing is the way to enlighten it. The idea of work is disgusting and it's a scam. Work is a job. Job is slavery. Here you have a slave. This man in the yellow is a slave. He's a slave criminal. He works for a criminal organisation called the police. And he is a slave. And he does what he's told regardless of whether it makes the blindest bit of sense regardless of whether he's being a completely mad thug or not, right? This guy, he steals people's medicine at gunpoint, basically. He steals people's medicine and he doesn't even realise it. Taking someone's cannabis is stealing their medicine, right? And this guy steals people's medicine under and uses under the Misuse of Drugs Act. But that's not misusing drugs, taking cannabis to make you feel better. That's the use of the fucking thing in the first place. Why do you think it was put here? But this guy steals it and burns it. What an absolute disgrace. Disgrace to burn it unless you burn it nice and slowly and inhale on the way, which some of them do, of course, which is some at least a bit of consolation that at least when the fucker steals our drugs, at least someone's getting the benefit. Right? Anyway, welcome to the Church of Nothing. Here at the Church of Nothing, we encourage you to do nothing. Just stop it now. Stop running around. Stop doing anything. And if you stop having sex, then you won't create any more children that don't need to come in. Just do nothing. Especially you, sir. Got to stop all this fidgeting and messing around and going from A to B and B to A. Just don't join me. We're going to do a minute's meditation, and after that, if anybody, anybody's got an intruder or silence I'm here at the Church of Nothing, please share your wisdom with us. Why is Allah a deceiver? Why is Allah a deceiver? Right? Because, because no, no, no. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. It's ridiculous. So 
Well, we're at the Church of Nothing. We don't worship anything at all. It's all a load of bollocks. Where, where, where did everything come from? What did God name us? I don't know. Who fucking knows where it comes from? Who cares? Who cares? What the fuck is it doing here? Nothing. Look at all these people. What the fuck are they doing? They're manufacturing food. <laughs> so that they can have another generation and another generation of fucking food. Give me a fucking break. Look around here. Look at it. These people are going to reproduce. Tell me with an honest heart you think that's a good thing. For less population, less people. Yes, of course. There are so many people in terrible situations in the world. Why? Why do you want more? For what? Look after the people that are already here. They could be adopted, fostered, you could be a step parent. Fuck it, hell man. What do you have to create more problems for? Is that biological connection with mother and son? What's that got to do with anything? So what? That, that biological that connection? What the fuck is it? Yeah, you wait until your son's 12, 13 year old years old and tells you to go fuck yourself whilst he helps himself to your bank account, right? Or your whatever he gets into. Your child, your son, your son, yeah. Or he gets into girls or drugs or sex or whatever, or TikTok, whatever fuck he gets into, yeah. And then when we're all your, oh, I've got a bond, a blood bond with my son. Yeah, right. We'll see. We'll see how much blood bond you got when the state have really fucked up his mind. By the time he's five and he's got an iPad and all this shit. By the time he's ten, he's on Instagram and TikTok. Yeah. And then we'll see how much your, how much use. Is your father and son bond? Fuck, load of bullshit. Yes, I've got a bond with my son. I've got children, and I've got a bond with them. So what? It doesn't mean I should have had them. I should never have had them. I should never ever have had them. Crazy idea. When did you change your idea? Because obviously you didn't have these ideas before you had them. Yeah, long after I had them. Long after. Long after. This is a recent thing. So is that is that the main goal? To to, to, to get people to have less less sort of whatever DJ population? What's the main goal? I don't have a goal. Okay. I don't work like that. Do I need a goal? Yeah, well there's motivation behind it, that's that's what I mean. Oh I see motivation. Yeah. Uh, because I like I like doing this. I'm, a, I'm basically, I'm a very passionate troll. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, so you have a point for life, to be a troll? Yes, but I'm, I'm also aware, no, I, no, I, I do, that, but I'm aware that it's bullshit. It's an absolute stupid load of bollocks. It doesn't make any fucking difference. They're so fucking stupid, the cunts. Maybe they're that's your uh, They're all uh, rabbits. They're like a bunch of rabbits. Most of them are not even like... Most of them are like... Yeah, they're so brain dead. I mean... They're, they're, and the rest of them are also mad. I mean... The most intelligent woman I know... Right? She is really, really clever. I can't understand half of what she says, right? Doesn't guarantee that... You know, I could be very stupid. She is very intelligent, right? And she went and had like kids with IVF, right? Mad, absolute mad. She's neurotic. She's like amazing. I love her, right? She's neurotic. She's a genius. Been fucking spending time with a three-year-old, a two-year-old, a one-year-old, and you're a world genius on language. Fuck. That's stupid you are fucking We just don't realise A little bit. Um, I am uh, founding, one of the founding members of a new religion. Um, we are called the Church of Nothing. Church of Nothing? Are you laughing? Yes, the Church of Nothing. Yes, that's right. We at the Church of Nothing worship nothing. Because there's nothing worth worshipping, is there? Let's be honest. Why would you worship anything? It's all a load of shit. Yes, Danny, you are right. My 
favourite guy in Scooter Sport? If it was someone a bit more intelligent, I'd take that as a compliment. Oh, because I know Danny, I shouldn't say it, I should be nice to him. It feels a bit uncomfortable. I don't, I don't, see, I don't see you see anyone as intelligent. <laughs> So, welcome to the Church of Nothing, and here at the Church of Nothing, we spend a considerable amount of time, as much as possible, promoting the idea of doing nothing. Yes? We are living in a society where people are doing things all the time, and people ask me, what do I do? And I am someone who actually takes doing nothing to the professional level. I try and create it as a, as a pastime of mine to do as little as possible, right? My wife does complain a little bit about it, but I, I, try, to ensure, uh, I try to reassure her that this is a spiritual practice. And so I'd like to invite you once again to one of our gatherings at the Church of Nothing. At the Church of Nothing, we value silence. And I invite all of you to join our service, and this is the way it works. We start off with a minute silence. Then, if anybody has got any noises, and they could be a song, or a poem, or any question, or anything, but if someone has any noises that will improve on the silence, this is your opportunity. But please, think carefully, and ask yourself, is this going to improve on the silence? Welcome to the Church of Nothing. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to now pray I told you, to the God I which I don't believe exists. And I'm going to be praying that when I open my eyes, this guy will go somewhere else. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that does not always work, but it does sometimes. So when somebody behaves like that guy, close your eyes, meditate for a minute, see what happens. Very powerful, the power of silence. Before I continue, I'd like to invite you to a space of silence. If you have something, if you have a sound to make that is an improvement on the silence, the stage is yours. But two, please be careful. Before you open your mouth and make a noise, please make sure that you are going to improve on the silence.